Hello everyone and welcome back to Reckham TV, the official web show for Texas Tech Athletics. Travis Cram here with the Texas Tech Official Sports Report, here to bring the latest in Texas Tech sports and what a week it's been for Texas Tech Athletics. It all started this past Saturday at Cowboys Stadium in Arlington. Texas Tech taking on Baylor in the inaugural Texas Farm Bureau shootout at Cowboys Stadium. Tech quarterback Taylor Potts hooks up twice with ex-Abilene teammate Lyle Leong for two touchdowns in the third quarter as the Tech defense comes up big on Baylor's final drive of the game to help the Red Raiders close out and leave Cowboys Stadium with a 20-13 win over Baylor, finishing the season at 8-4 as the team now awaits a call on Sunday for a bowl game, possibly heading back to San Antonio for the first time in eight years to play in the Alamo Bowl. I thought the team that played with our defense the last one-third of the game would have won. And I thought, uh, you know, our D-line uh, did a good job uh, getting pressure. And then just our defense as a whole, uh, you know, rallying that last, really the last third. You know, we got turnovers. We stopped uh, drives. And then, of course, uh, we knew we had to stop them for four downs on that last one, and they did. Moving on to basketball now, and of course the game everyone is talking about. Red Raider basketball gets the big win over number 10 Washington Thursday night at United Spear Arena. A big game from Mike Singletary. He hits one of the what appears to be the game-winning shot in regulation. It's called back, and John Roberson comes up big in overtime, leading the Red Raiders with 25 points, a new career high, or a new season high for him. Tech starting out the season at 8 0 for the first time in 80 years. I had four managers actually pass out 3,000 flyers um, to all the norms the last two nights. 3,000 flyers to get these students here. And so we give game balls um, out for every game that we win. And we actually gave four managers a um, game ball tonight because that was huge. We these kids to pass out 3,000 flyers. And everyone always asks me why I coach the minor leagues. And, and if it's worth it, but you come up with gimmicks like that when you coach the minor league. So uh, I just want to thank the fans to start this out. It was huge for the students. And I hope this team gained their respect and excitement. You know, even if it wouldn't have gone our way, I think these guys deserve to have crowds like this every night just because, I mean, this is honestly a fun team to coach. And I think it's got to be a fun team to watch. Christy Curry and the Lady Raiders on a home winning streak of their own after a 75-71 win over Texas State on Wednesday night. That's five straight wins at United Spirit Arena for the Lady Raiders, led by sophomore forward Kiara Mallard. She had a career-high 25 points as Tech welcomes in New Mexico on Saturday. And Coach Curry and the players have a special way for fans to come out and enjoy the game at 2 o'clock. You know what, I'm going to buy 500 tickets um, for tomorrow's game against New Mexico. They're going to be at the ticket window at 1 o'clock tomorrow and I'll ahead of the game, bring 5 people, 10 people, 20 people. Um, you know, we've got a great group of youngsters and these kids really need some support. And I love every single one of them and um, you know, I just think they deserve it. So hopefully you can do a little Christmas shopping in the morning, um, get some chores done and then come on out. I mean, we're going to play New Mexico and what a great program and a great tradition between both schools. and. Hopefully everybody will come out and give these kids some support they deserve. And um, first 500, please come get a ticket.